come here? I really don't know what to say. <laughs> I didn't want to make a video on this topic, uh, on coronavirus in general, um, because I, I feel like I have no idea what's going on with this thing. Like, I... I have tried to be as informed as possible. I, I've been trying to look at the news. Um, Joe Rogan did a podcast with this guy called Michael, uh, who is an internationally recognized expert in infectious diseases. And I, it was really insightful. It was really informative. And after watching the entire thing, I kind of just sat back and still had that feeling of, I don't know what's going on. And it, it's just, it, I guess it is really daunting. Um, and obviously it is affecting so many things, not just in the gaming industry, but in the world, in all types of ent entertainment industries, in manufacturing of things like toilet paper. A lot of the things it is affecting does seem to be video game related. I don't know if that's just because I am so heavily intertwined my life with video games that it seems like every step and turn everywhere I look something video game related is being affected but it's definitely not just video games and I like to make these big fun gaming news videos and it didn't seem right to make a big fun video where everything I was talking about all the biggest news was things that was affected by a virus that was literally making people sick. I guess ultimately I decided I wanted to talk about it and I wanted to make a video about it because I think my overarching point on how I feel about all these things being canceled and even like today with the, the possibility uh, I read of uh, PlayStation and Xbox, the new consoles being pushed back to, to 2021, you know, and I see all these people being upset. I don't feel that way. I, I like every time something gets canceled, it's like a level of, I don't care. Every time something gets canceled, like E3, if these consoles do get pushed back, I was supposed to go to a convention at the end of this month in SoCal, a SoCal Retro Gaming Expo. That got postponed. I was also going to go to Disney with Kim and some friends while we were there. Then that closed. And, you know, all these things that are directly affecting me, plans that I had made, I don't care. It's just a situation where good. Because the less people congregating right now in these areas then the less this virus can spread and maybe it's not that bad maybe it's not as bad as as it seems to be because everything is being cancelled or postponed but isn't it better safe than sorry at the end of the day and that's definitely how i feel and it's really weird to me as well this argument people are making where it's like it only really hurts the elderly we're fine we should be able to go to, to conventions and hang out it's a really naive way of looking at it because the for a couple of reasons but the biggest one being you can still get sick you can still carry this virus and then go and and get sunday lunch with your little mima and make her sick like it's not good like don't like <laughs> it's not good like it's a good thing that these things are being cancelled to minimize the spread and also old people are still people like okay i'm young right now but if i was like 70 or 80 I wouldn't want to think that all these young people are going around swapping spit and shaking hands and then I'm going and buying my bananas at the grocery store just trying to live out a happy retirement and then I, I, I touch the hand of some kid and now I go and get sick. Like, let's keep people alive no matter the age. So I completely understand why these things are getting cancelled. And so everything that gets pushed back, it's kind of just, to me, it's like, okay. And I think... A lot of the frustration comes from being just in this day and age where we're so used to getting things immediately. I mean, like I ordered weights off of Amazon and these heavy 45 pound weights will be here in like a day with prime shipping. We're so used to getting things like this. Okay, maybe 2020 has to go on hold. Maybe we don't get anything out of 2020. It's just a year. There's a serious situation happening. So for me to get up and be like, oh, E3 is canceled. What's going to happen to E3? I don't care what happens to E3. I care what happens to the people affected by this virus. And again, I don't know the situation at all. It's, it, I, I'm not pretending to be informed. There will be information. This podcast will be down below because I think it was very informational, but I'll find other sources of information. But all you have to do, and I do it every morning I wake up, I Google coronavirus situation every morning and I just read. 
Google, nobody asked you a damn thing. And I just read whatever is in the news for that day. And it's not always the correct information, I feel, but it, just trying to stay up to date as possible. <sighs> I lost my train of thought because of Google Home. So thanks, Google Home. But, you know, I do want to, t to go over all the things that have been cancelled. Because it is still interesting to me to just see the effect that it is having. Uh, there's actually a website you can go to called isitcancelledyet.com. I haven't looked through here. I wanted to, to save this for a possible video. And it's not all gaming stuff, although there is some gaming things in here. So yes means uh, it's been cancelled. No means it's still on. And uh-oh means not cancelled, but not looking good. So 2020, uh-oh. <laughs> uh, Disneyland, yes. As I said, I actually, I, I still right now have tickets to Disneyland for uh, the start of next month that I haven't got a refund on yet, which I need to figure out. Apparently Broadway has been cancelled. I don't know what that means. A March Madness, I heard like a lot of sporting events got cancelled. I heard that even uh, wrestling performed, I don't, I don't know, I think it was SmackDown? performed in front of no one. They did it in like the training facility, the, the last show. And uh, they were even cutting promos in the ring, but like to no one. It's kind of, it's so surreal. NBA, NHL, MLB. Oh my gosh. Uh, E3, obviously, that's a big one um, for me, I guess, and us. E3 is an interesting situation because a lot of people, myself included, kind of had a feeling that maybe this was going to be E3's last year. And maybe not. Maybe they would try and uh, uh, beat a dead horse. <laughs> With the new systems coming out, I kind of felt like this was probably going to be the last big year for E3. Um, and then everything just seems to be moving to online directs after that. And I feel like this has just fast-tracked it because now even Square Enix is doing a, like a digital direct kind of thing. Basically all the big music tours. Uh-oh. And that's another thing too, that a lot of people don't think about when it comes to the people putting on these events and why they're being canceled. Despite how you personally feel about the virus and an overreaction or not. We have been told how this thing spreads and gathering that many people in one place increases the likelihood of that thing spreading. So whether it's out of people's best interest or just not wanting to be sued, these companies, these artists, these people, these conventions, they can't willingly put on a convention, tell people to come out, come together, sell them tickets, and then have even one person get sick. For example, the convention that I was going to, no one knew I was going in fact, because I didn't announce it. I didn't want to announce it until I knew it was safe for you guys to go. Because if I told 800,000 people, or however many subscribers I have, <laughs> to go to a convention, and even, you know, 100 of you actually rock up, it's 100 people that might get sick. Especially in California, where it seems to be ground zero right now. And that's on my head. Like, I would feel bad about that. It's so interesting to see how many different areas, how many different things are, are being affected by this? Houston Rodeo, Las Vegas Casino Buffets, New York Public Library, Coachella, Harvard University, like look at all these things. And over here we have a list of just the amount of like entertainment things have been shut down. So production, Grey's Anatomy, Grace and Frankie, The Morning Show, Tosh.0, well I guess... some things are benefiting from <laughs> Riverdale suspended uh, production. See, a lot of these things are still going, but without audiences. Because again, a lot of people owe it to, the, to their fans and their followers to not bring an audience together. So a lot of these late night shows are going without an audience. People working from home. I, I know my friend that works at Amazon. Hi, Mikey. He's working from home. Netflix people working from home, like every, all these big companies, anyone that can work from home are being told to work from home. Festive, all these festivals are closed, all these conferences are closed, all these sporting events canceled, release dates. Yeah, I heard that Disney postponed Milan, New Mutants, Antlers, A Quiet Place 2 got postponed, corporate offices, movie theaters are closing down, theme parks. Pearl Jam, again, like Kim was trying to get tickets to Pearl Jam, that's been postponed. 2020? It's just on hold. Even if things start rolling again tomorrow, 
We are still going to see lasting effects from everything that happened in the last few weeks, despite the fact that this could last up to another six months. So just stay safe. Take care of yourself. Stay inside as much as you can. And the more things that get cancelled, don't let it bum you out. Don't freak out about it. I know you haven't played every game on your wish list. I know you haven't watched every movie you wanted to watch. There are things that we can bunker on down at home and watch and play and do for years to come. Yes, I look forward to all the new things as much as anyone else, but I'm not losing my mind over E3 being cancelled. I'm not losing my mind over movies and games being pushed back. I don't care. As long as the people making them are staying as safe as possible. So for me, I'm not leaving the house any more than I have to. Luckily, I can do my job from home. I can entertain you guys from right here in this seat until I know for sure that it's safe to go out and interact with people. And uh, I just recommend that you guys do the same as much as possible. A lot of people still have to go to work, but that doesn't mean that when you get home, you then have to rush out to the dance club and sweat on down getting jiggy with it. Maybe uh, stay at home, read a good book, watch one of those movies that came out over the last 20 years and just stay safe. My point in all of this is just be patient with the world don't freak out don't panic don't get angry or upset at things being closed or cancelled or people wanting to protect their family by buying toilet paper just live your life and do your best to keep you and the people around you safe seems obvious but I feel like a lot of people are just losing their minds. Again, there'll be information down below if you want to learn more about uh, the virus, but I would just recommend doing your own research and Googling for yourself. So yeah, anything else that happens, you know my opinion. I don't have to talk about this again, make a whole video about it again. Um, I might tweet about it, so follow me on Twitter. Other than that, this is, this is the video about this entire stuff. And from here, all I'm going to do is make more fun, entertaining, and exciting videos for you guys to watch while we're all bunkered down, waiting for this to all blow over. I hope you are doing well. And if you are sick, if you're not doing well, I hope you get better soon. I love you all very, very much. And um, I'll see you all soon. Stay safe, okay? All right, cool, bye.